think that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is it's Sunday, and I'm going to do some more work on this here truck. Some wiring. I'd like to get this thing so I could crank it up and back it out. That would be neat. So the next thing I'm going to do is, oh, almost dropped my camera, is I got to take my glasses off so I can see. Ah. I bought a couple of these things and I'm going to put one here somewhere and I'm going to use that to transmit, transmit my main power to the fuse box because I don't I don't know that I want to try 50 amps through this connector. I really don't think that's a good idea. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I went ahead and drilled a hole in the firewall and put that little ding-danger right there. So now we'll be able to run our power inside and not have to worry about cooking that quick kick di quick disconnect and I guess you all know I gotta pull this thing all apart once I get everything figured out here for paint so I want to be able to quickly disconnect everything and then uh, put be able to put it back together because this is quite an endeavor this wiring right bud right. what you doing that's an excellent, excellent plan. Uh, just future thought here. I've got to get that engine in the dually. And that's the last major product, project that I know of I need to do before I can kind of concentrate on this. But I need another one in between here in case when my brain gets smoked I can work on something else. So, I'm thinking maybe young man says we need to make that GMC look better. He says it's a really cool truck, but it looks awful. Yeah. So we might, we might look into that. We might look into that. I don't know what I'll do with this thing. That's a brand new 454. I guess just accumulate parts as they, as they come to me. And someday I'll put it in something. Another thing I might do is, I got that 283 right there. I need to put that thing together. I might put it together and put it on the test stand. I got another 283 out in the, another place that is complete and hadn't run in a long time. I might try to fire it up. We got a 327 right there I ought to do something with. I don't know. I don't know what. Anyways, I can't spend much time thinking. I need to spend more time working. All right, the next little dilemma is, I turned the light off, but their dimmer switch goes up through the floor there, and this is it. I just happen to have one in inventory too, but what I do not have in inventory is the little clips that go on here so you can hook your wires to it. So I'm going to have to devise something for that now. A quarter inch spade terminal won't fit it. So I'm sure I can come up with something. Let me see what I get to come up with. There's what I did. I dug around and found some 632 nuts and screws and done it that way. And I think it's going to be okay. I do think I'm going to wrap that up with something just because... I just don't want things happening that ain't supposed to happen. Maybe some tape, I don't know. Alright, so I'm getting ready to wire up my dimmer switch into the plug here and I realized, I figured out I made a mistake. That's lucky. The last time I was working on this thing. Just goes to show you can't be too careful. Anyways, I fixed it. I got the young man making him a couple dollars. And we got another dog. It's getting to be a rescue mission around here. Daisy! Come here, girl. She's a sweetheart. Sweetheart. That one. 
all he does is roll in mud and get dirty. And listen, because he's got big ears. He listens real good. Well, you'd think he would, but he don't. He don't come worth a darn. I'm still working away on wiring the dimmer switch and you get a rare spotting of Mrs. Heavy Chevy. <laughs> We've got certificates for the dog, I guess. It's a good dog, must be. Yeah. Alright, we might have to wake up the mutt there because we got to go to a buddy's house and he's going to cook something and I'm going to be there to eat it. But, I didn't get a whole bunch done on this truck today because I've been kind of lazing around. But hey, I can do that now and again, can I? I still got to finish wiring up the instrument panel. I haven't done that. Let's see, what else? I got to run the wires to the rear for the taillights and so forth and fuel gauge. But I think I can utilize the original wires to a great degree. So I gotta figure that out. What else? Hmm. Anyway, there's probably some other stuff. I gotta hook up a few wires. But I think I've mostly got it. So it'll run. This is some extra stuff like power for trailer, charging, trailer brake power. Um we probably don't need most of that at the moment. What's this? Well, that's the one I gotta power up the computers with. I still gotta mount the, uh, that. I gotta make a mount for that. There's still a lot of stuff to do, but I'm getting closer. And then I gotta fab up an air cleaner and get the radiator in it and wire up the fans. There's still a lot to do here. Let's don't get to feeling too chummy with our accomplishments can't rest on our laurels anyway I'm gonna quit yakking I uh, probably will start another video so I guess we'll ring the bell don't forget to go to mrheavychevy.com where you can buy I'll sell pictures of that dog if you want me to hats t-shirts some of Mrs. Heavy Chevy's art um, you know, if you want more art requesters, she's been kind of on a big lull here and ain't done doodly squat with it. You know, it's kind of hard to keep telling her. It's hard to sell out of an empty wagon. It's an old uh, little bit of wisdom there. But, uh, you know, not everybody takes wisdom. Especially from family members. Sometimes they have to be told by somebody else. And another thing is, you got to know when to shut up. You can't just go on talking and talking and talking and talking because people don't want to hear that crap. Say what needs to be said. Cut it off. Yeah. Alright, it's Monday, Memorial Day. Let's don't forget the reason for that day, folks. I'm out here in the garage a little bit later than I normally would be. That's alright. And I think I'm going to wire up the jewel for the high beam indicator which goes right there. Now I bought a new one but as usual I can't find the blamed thing but right there is the original let me put it here somewhere where you can see it that's the original it doesn't have a lens in it any longer and this is the thing that hooks on the back of it on the back side of the dash and it's supposed to have a bulb in there. Well, I'm going to rig it with an LED light and let me show you how I'm going to do that. This is a pretty cool thing really. Look at that. Those tabs lock on the back side of the dash and they're spring loaded. And then that fits in that groove like so. Anyways. Let me work on that. All right, here's what I done come up with. I made a little thing out of a, let me get it where it'll focus, out of an extra piece of sheet metal. Of course, I managed to stab myself in the thumb with it and 
bleed a little bit, but that's okay. Everything has a cost, and then in this case, it's just a little blood. Um, <clears throat> and then I th threaded a little LED light in there. This side goes on the jewel. By the way, look at that, spring-loaded. Ain't that cool? I think that's just cool. Innovative. And then this goes on there like so. And then the light will shine through the jewel. I think that's going to work. All right, I just found the little jewel. Look here. Cancer and reproductive warnings. State of California. Well, I don't want no cancer, but if I don't reproduce anymore, that's not going to hurt my feelings. All right, here's what we came up with. We wrapped it in a little tape, put a quick connect plug on it. Those wires are super tiny and a challenge for old man eyes and hands. But I think it's ready to go here. So I'm going to see if it is. So the young man ordered something off Amazon. I think it was yesterday. And he was just standing here saying, oh, I guess it's only three days. It's going to be okay. And I said, back in my day, son. You had to mail in check or money order and uh, allow six to eight weeks for shipping and, ha shipping and handling. So we got it pretty good today. You have to cut the little thing out and add and write it all in. You had to learn, know how to write and fill out the order and mail it. <whistles> all right, everybody knows I'm getting to be an old man old man man anyways I'm finding it uncomfortable laying on my back up under there and you know what they say necessity is the mother of invention so let me see if I can invent something to make it easier on me all right this isn't exactly ideal but might be okay now if I just don't fall off it. <laughs> All right, I got the camera up under the dash and right there it is. It's hooked up to the jewel. All right. Now you can put the instrument panel back in. I'm really not feeling this wiring. I think I'm gonna not do it anymore. I still got to wire up the instrument panel, the tack, fuel gauge, all that stuff. What else do I need to do? I need to wire up my horn button. I need to run the wires to the rear of the truck. I really, really, really don't want to do it no more. So I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go for riding the Firebird. 